Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to A Knight's Tale. We are here with William on what is a very quiet night. There isn't a single sound here at all, which is, you know, just one of those weird Bandlord things where it seems that atmospheric sounds don't always appear, don't always load. Let's hope that most of that is going to be uh, fixed and repaired before we have the final version of the game. But we are here in Cranorog at the moment and we have some recovery to do. Yes, we need to rest up with William before we continue to defend our lands because we are fighting two wars at the moment because, well, it would seem, I don't know if it was entirely funded by Death Earth, but, well, <laughs> war with the Kazates seem to be inevitable, and we have declared war on them, and they're here on our doorsteps right now, fighting back William, which is awfully convenient, isn't it, that it is the front that William has to face, but face it, we shall, so William, let us dive on in. And so our waiting begins, and thankfully a lot of our troops have already recovered. We're looking a lot better there. We can see some, ah, no, just looters and some neutral folk roaming around here, but we're trying to keep our eye on our territories as best we can while we do recover. Actually, while we are recovering, it's probably worthwhile us looking at parties once again. We can create new parties, and we can create parties with our folks that are out there, so Liana and Nogand. Unfortunately, they will just be one like so, but... Yeah, we can actually make quite a few. We can make four parties now, so we could look at maybe trying to take one of our others. The people who have the best stewardship are going to be Lacalian and Jeremos because of their intelligence, so we're going to have to maybe look at taking Jeremos away from his position at the moment. Lacalian, we're just going to keep with us because I think it's going to be worth us having a... Actually, Lacalian, where the hell are you at the moment? Are you with us? Let's see, Lacalian, staying at Ravel. Okay, so you are helping out just elsewhere. So Jeremos, I think I'm gonna try and steal you. Actually, why are you staying at Ravel? Yeah, that's strange. Maybe we want Lacalian, actually. Yeah, Lacalian, start making yourself a party. So 93, that's still pretty damn good. Liana and Nogan have really good stewardship. That's why they can have quite large parties. Looks like we can have 170 now with William which is fantastic. Okay, well, that's good. Let's hope we start to see those uh, fill up. And once they do, we'll go ahead and bring them into our army, have them right alongside with us. Right, well, I think we've waited long enough. We're gonna be riding out with Sir William here to go and pick up some, ah, uh, troops. And it would seem that Ulthame Castle is under siege by Melodia. Well, that's fantastic. And those are some pretty big numbers. It would be better for us to try and fight Melodia in the field. I think rather trying to do a... Yeah, a proper siege here because we've got 160 defenders. It would take us quite a bit to be able to break in. Yeah, we're going to have to consider our options there. I think just pushing in probably isn't the best course of action. Actually trying to bring some of our troops towards us might be good. And unfortunately, it looks like others are going to be joining their army as well. So we might have to form an army of our own. Okay, well, let's see what our options are going to be there. So we, we really don't have a huge amount of options, unfortunately. And most of that's due to the fact that there are just a lot of armies riding around already. And our, our yeah, <laughs> they've joined up with one person. Wow. Okay, well, I guess that's something. Nogand is eight days away with only one person in his party. Yeah. Wicked. Well done. That's fantastic. Well, in Galfa, I wouldn't mind getting you. 149, two days away. That's a while, but we could probably, we could maybe wake that out. We'll get Lucand as well and Elbert over here. Hmm, let's see, who else do we want? Lashenek, you're pretty close, you have 68. Lasika's party is rather close, still a little bit more expensive, but I think it's going to be worth us building up an army at this point anyway. Maximin, did you... Ah, oh, you joined us. Well, there we go. So that's one of the lords that we defeated in the last. Well, you know what, I guess we could look at bringing you on board, couldn't we? Yeah, 21, 67... It's going to take us up to a fair amount. It's going to cost us a lot of influence to be able to do this, though. Maybe, 
maybe we just have a look at, uh, yeah, I feel like that might be enough. 121 is still a lot of influence to spend, but uh, I hope it's going to be worth it. I hope that some of them are going to be able to make it here on time. Well, I'm going to see if I can be extra sneaky here and just continue to recruit troops around here. We've got quite a few looters, which is not great. Elbert's party has left William's army. You bastard. Oh, he was captured. Well, there we go. And Ismail Korg was actually properly raided, even though we did get to it. Maybe we just didn't get to it in time. That's really unfortunate. Well, let's see if we can keep getting some folks and keep an eye on our defenders there to see if our actual fight starts up. Oh, oh, they're running. They're moving on. Defending Pendrag Castle. They took, they took Pendrag Castle. Okay, so at some point they took Pendrag. That's good to know. Ha. Huh. All right. Hmm. Do I want to try and follow you? Well, we do have an army that should be gathering soon. You know what? We'll see if we can meet you there. We're going to go another route, though. We're going to go up this way. Honestly, this is going to be a lot faster. I don't know why they went this way. I guess, well, it's their choice. Let's stop in here and see if we can pick up some folks. Oh, Pendraic is taken. Well, well, well. Okay, an election has started for it. Fantastic. All right, well, while we're here, let's go in, get ourselves some mercenary swordsmen, see if there are any other recruits we can get. We can get a whole heap of volunteers. Fantastic. We'll bring them on board. We want to bolster our numbers up as fast as possible and then maybe see if we can track down that army because they're more than likely going to try and go for one of our castles in this region. We could try and take their attention away by looking at Epicrotea. I'm certainly looking at Epicrotea. I suppose we will see, won't we? All right, well, William, we're going to continue to just pull in more troops and we'll jump back as soon as we have something <laughs> like that to deal with. Well, I guess we'll stay with you just for a second or two. We'll grab some more volunteers. Fantastic that there are so many. And let's see, who are we going to be voting on here? So not great options, really. We're definitely not going to be voting for you. I think we might go for Krotor here. Yeah, you seem to be the popular vote. You are a new vassal who's just joined us recently, seemingly. You do own Abcoma Castle. You might have brought that with you, potentially. We're going to go ahead and see that you have a better chance and we'll hopefully get some experience with you, some relation. Yes, we do. Fantastic. Okay, we will we will take that. That's, that's okay. And we got a point in charm. We'll take that as well. Oh, boy. Right. Our stewardship just shot up. And uh, yeah, we got some, we got, we got ourselves a level. Fantastic. Well, while we're here, we're just going to grab a few more troops, just bolstering up our volunteer numbers, and we're going to have a look at this level up. So let's see, William. We actually do have another point somewhere else as well, but we have this free focus point. Where do we want to put it? Right now, one that's obvious to me is tactics. We are locked out at this stage. We can't go any further with it, and I think that would actually make a bit of difference to us. Yeah allows you to place your troops before all battles. That would be rather nice. So we'll see if we can work our way up towards a, having a better tactic skill because that's going to make it better when we're just trying to, yeah, do things that require tactics like uh, push into a castle that's being sieged, etc. And as for who has our other level up, oh, Osea, you've got two here. Fantastic. Well, what do we want to do with you? Your vigor is just absolutely maxed out at the moment. I think we're probably going to go for endurance here so that we can help your smithing get that little bit further. And yes, we're going to go give you a point there as well, just so that you can get a little bit further along. And it looks like we also have someone else. Who? Dwayne, you have a point in scouting. Fantastic. What do we want? Hills or marshes? I think hills is an easy choice for us. All right, let's continue on. Well, we've arrived here in Maranath and there are a lot of different troops that we can pick up here, which we are most certainly going to do. And then let's have a look at the Tavern District. We've got 11 Batanian armed traders. We're going to pick up all of them and that's going to put us over our limit. We're actually just going to ride over here to Remtoil to see if we can quickly try to sub some of them out here. Oh, and another election. Interesting. So those armed traders, we're going to go ahead and sub all 11 of them out. Well, rather, we can only take three. So let's take three good units here. We're going to take three sharpshooters because we can. And that puts us at our limit of 170 troops. Very nice, William. 
Let's continue on. And I will be occasionally checking back in with armies. And ah, look at that. Liana and Nogand and Lacalian are all available. We're going to grab them now because they're still going to be able to pick up troops once they are in our party. So go ahead, join up with us, make it to us as soon as you can. Ah, and here we go. We have our first few who have actually made it towards us. And Galtha up here as well. Fantastic. So we'll let them join up with us. And I think probably going to be worth us starting to head towards a destination. We have 95 leadership, very very nice. Let's start eyeing up Epicrotea or even Jerio Jer Jersigos? Jersigos Castle. Yes, Jersigos Castle. We'll think about that, but yeah, I'm I'm thinking Epicrotea. Legator was one that we certainly had our eyes on as well, but yeah, I think we do need to try and shake things up with the Kazates a little bit here, so let's start riding on in that direction. And we have another vote. This time it seems to be going in favor of Aegiron over here. We're actually going to vote against that. I think we're going to vote for Krotor here because we have a little bit better relation. Unfortunately, Vildur, we don't have a great relationship with you, so we're going to try and boost you up a little bit here. Yeah, let's see. Okay, decreased by one. Increased by seven. That's fantastic. That's a little bit better there, huh? Oh, Marinath is looking nice. Very nice. All right, Liana has arrived in our army, and I think we might be able to talk to Liana, potentially, and we might be able to transfer some troops to you. Let's just see. Talk to party leader. There we go. All right, and upon inspecting troops, we can transfer some troops, and we're actually going to transfer a whole heap of Batanian armed traders we just picked up, so there you go. A little bit to bolster your forces. Those volunteers should get some experience before long. There are 35 of them. I'm going to keep them all together until they actually level up. Having arrived here at Ulthane Castle, we're just going to boost up the projects that we're working on here. Everything seems to be going pretty good. Prosperity is on the rise as well. Fantastic. Well, our army is looking pretty good. We just have Lacalian and Nogand to go. And I think, yeah, Lacalian is right behind us. So let's see. We've got 506 defenders there. Not bad numbers, really. Our numbers are higher. Let's see. That's a fair militia, but there's also a fair amount of uh, garrison troops here as well. The garrison troops are going to be a little bit better. We're looking at lots of tribal warriors but mostly Imperial Militia Archers and a whole heap of Militia Spearmen. Those we can deal with. Let's let the rest of our troops arrive here. We still have one more, Nogand, to go. Yeah, I think we're going to have to start to get to work on this thing. And more than likely, there are going to be others that try to join up and, uh, yeah, want to be a part of this. <laughs> Both good and bad. I might even see if we can pull some more into our army here because more numbers, the better. Well, there are others out here and they aren't that expensive. We could get Morkin and Crota for not that much. So I'm very, very tempted. Let's just have a look at the rest here. Yeah, I think we're going to grab the two of you. This is going to be a hell of an army that William's leading. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and spend that influence and hope that they arrive soon. Well, the first of our enemy have shown up here, as one might expect. And, well, the first of our friends has arrived. Fantastic. We're actually working on our first trebuchet here. We're going to have a look at going and knocking down some of the walls, potentially. We'll see if that'll work out for us or not. It's going to take a little bit of juggling, though. Well, we have all of our trebuchet out now, so hopefully they're going to start firing. Uh, it might be worth us getting something built back here, just so that we have something being built while we're waiting. Let's just see. Okay, we're cracked a ballista, fantastic. We should be able to start to just work them down. That's the plan. There have been no other attacks thus far, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And I think that's the last ally to arrive. Yeah, Morkand. Fantastic, that's another ballista down. Let's just keep on working them down, and it looks like those two walls are starting to get a little bit weaker as well. We've got 945 here, feeling pretty good about that. Well, things are certainly looking good for us. Both of the walls are nearly completely cracked through. Excellent, that's one down. And after the other one's down, we'll have no need for this other siege engine here. Yeah, the numbers have been getting smaller inside of the town as well. We're going to go ahead and move that to reserve. And let's see, we could make ourselves a nice fire ballista here. 
something for William to pilot earlier on. And as soon as that's done, we're going to go ahead and uh, have a look at getting another one out here as well. Uh, we might not be able to though. Oh no, there we go. That's how we'll do that. We'll get that getting created. Hopefully take down their last siege engine here. Well actually, really, that's us done. That's everything prepared. We're going to go ahead and get another one of those on the battlefield here. Means that we've got some trebuchets. We've got that as well, should we need the siege tower. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty damn good about this thing. We've got two openings on the walls. It's going to be a hell of a siege, so strap yourselves in. And you know that before we go in, we're going to go ahead and recruit all of these prisoners that we have as well. So William, let's get that done. All right, we have William's numbers now up to 204. Yeah, not bad, my friend. All right, let the siege begin. Okay, here we are. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this off. We can see that we have the breach position, so we don't have the tower. We have no need for it. We do have two large groups of troops on either side. I'm hoping they're just going to push for the breach right away. As for which one's going to be best for us to try and assist with, I'm not sure yet. We want to probably try and get up onto those walls and just start trying to hammer them. Our siege weapons probably aren't going to be used at all in this. Yeah, so William, we're going to have a look at just riding through with our horse and just try and do as much damage as we can from behind. So, let's begin this assault. Yes. Let's get ready. Let's go, William. All right. Yes, they're on the move. They're going for it. They're going for it. Our archers are going to position up. Okay. Let's see if we can help our folks out over here. So, we've got two options with William. Okay. Yeah, there's just one guy there. Let's go ahead and start to ride in. Yep, go, go, go. Right up on over. Oh, obviously there's more than one guy. There's a lot more than one guy. But, you know, we can try and, uh, you know, upset them a little bit here. Which I think we've succeeded in doing. Looks like we've got maybe one archer up the top there. God, there's so many of them. Yeah, we're kind of just pouring in at the moment here. We'll try and assist by attacking from behind here. I think they're trying to keep a shield wall. We do have our crossbow, but honestly, I feel like just attacking here is going to be better for us. Alright, let's go two-handed. Come on, William. That guy does not like us. I don't blame him. Keep on attacking from behind. Okay, we're kind of broken through there. A little dangerous here, buddy. Took a bit of damage there. Not bad, William. God, there's still a lot of them. Okay, let's go for our shield here. Let's be smart. Okay. Looks like we're pushing through from a number of different regions. Uh, live to fight another day. Let's see if we can help from up the top here. Someone might actually be on a uh, siege weapon. One of us, that is. Okay, we're still seeing their numbers dwindle. Osea getting a kill there as well. That's fantastic. Okay, they've got some numbers here. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, they do. Okay, back on up, William. Back on up. Okay, watch for rogue arrows. Like that. God, there was a lot more here than I thought. Yeah, they're just gonna flow out towards us, aren't they? Anyone up here? No, okay. Well, that actually kind of gives us an opportunity to chuck these down at people, but there's no one really here. I think the safest thing for us to do is just to keep William alive, because if he dies, they're just gonna go mad. And that's not exactly what we want. Okay, you're just going to run away. Did you just, like, detect me looking at you? I think so, maybe. Still got a lot of troops coming in here. Yeah, no, we've got this thing. We're just going to have to play it a little bit safer with William. Try to maybe see if we can stay alive here. 
Okay, or not. Come on then. Oh yep, trebuchet's working. Someone's doing something with it. Come on then, lads. They definitely like baiting us, like I bait them as well. I'm kind of impressed. Bastards. Yeah, fight's over. You've lost, lad. I just want to stay, stay up till the end this time, William. There we go. Got him. Yeah. Pushed in. No problem. Having those holes in the walls made a massive difference. Epicrotea is taken. William, you deserve to cheer, my friend. Well done. Excellent work. So, let's see. Right, William's party only lost 18. We lost 206. The enemy lost 268. All up. I feel like we did not too bad. Let's have a look at the kills and see how... Yeah, Osea. Very good job. Osea got more kills than us. Absolutely brilliant. Although, apparently she, she died. <laughs> Although, luckily, they can't die in this. But, yeah. It's kind of frightening, as always. We will take that victory. <laughs> Only plundering 104 gold. That's kind of sad. Well, 11 influence... I hope for a little bit more for taking this down. Maybe we'll see some more once we actually learn that we have taken the city proper. I should also note that every single one of our volunteers leveled up there, which is brilliant. Excellent. Oh, wow. Yep, we just shot up. We're at 304. That's fantastic. Good, good, good. We got a nice return on our influence there. Well, first thing we need to do is we actually have too many troops, so we could look at just giving them here. That's going to be good for us if we get this place for ourselves, but it's also going to be nice uh, because it's going to give us a little bit of influence for giving troops. So, yeah, let's do some donating. Well, it's a good thing that we upped William's tactics because we've finally got a point there. Cavalry attacks cause 10% more morale loss. Fantastic, my friend. And as for our army here, well, the cohesion is not great, so we're probably going to have to split off. So... Let's go ahead and disband this thing. We are going to be keeping our companions with us, though. So Lacallion, Liana, and Nogan, we're going to be keeping. And Galtha, you're going to be heading off. Morkan, Krotor, Lucand, Lycia, and Lashonek. There we go. So we'll just keep our core group here for now. The rest of you, you're free to go on your way. Now, our cohesion is low. But I think we should still be able to keep them. It says the expected change is minus five, but I think we'll see that uh, change. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait here for a little while. We've actually got some trading to do, in fact. Wildly enough, we had 23,000 worth of just loot that we've been collecting. Different pieces of armor. We've got a whole heap of shields as well that we're probably going to want to try and sell off here. The rest of our javelins, we're just holding on to for now. But uh, everything else here, we can go ahead and sell and make a pretty nifty profit at the end of that. Well, unfortunately, our army did disband, but I think we should be able to call them back to us without too much trouble. Yeah. Actually, oh, Leona went and joined another army just like that. Well, I suppose we could let them get a little bit of experience elsewhere. It is better for us to keep them in our army where we can. You know what? I'll see if we can just pull Nogan back to us for now. Nogan, you want to join up, buddy? Yep, he is perfectly fine too. Oh, and our leadership skill just went up, which I think has given us another point. And we need to vote for an owner. So let's do our level first. Yes, sure enough, we did get a point in leadership here. So what do we want to go for? Levy Sergeant, low wage for tier one, two, three, four troops, or Veterans Respect. Honestly, I think Veterans Respect is going to be better for us because they're going to be more expensive overall. And ideally, we want to have more, yeah, higher tier troops. Ideally. So, yeah, that's what we're going to go for. Veterans Respect. Let's make it happen, my friend. And it's now time for the moment of truth, William. Let's see where we stand. We stand pretty freaking good. Death, Death Hurt. Death Hurt is backing us here. That is wild. And Galtha is as well, but I'm so surprised that Death Hurt is behind us on this. Wow, what a twist. What a twist. Okay, well, 
<laughs> William, lucky day, my friend. Lucky day. I think, you know, if even if we put 20 into this, it's a pretty good chance. I think we'll play it safe and go 60. That's maybe being a little bit greedy, but I think we can make that work. 57, we've got a very good chance to get this. William, let's make it happen. And boom. Oh boy. Crotor, I'm sorry, my friend. We have got ourselves a new city. And oh boy, is it going to be a good one for us. All right, so, Epicrotea. Yeah, that is fantastic. Again, it's on the eastern border, so that's going to be a little bit dangerous. But we have these three settlements here that are now part of Williamsburg. This perfect little area that we have carved out for himself. Oh boy. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at the town and see how we're looking. Prosperity is pretty good. Food is low and loyalty is also low. That's to be expected, I think. But yeah, we're actually looking pretty good. The forum is quite nice. Getting a siege workshop would also be good. I think that's probably the most necessary thing for us to get at the moment. So we're going to go for that first, then the garrison barracks, and then the, the training fields. And then we'll kind of have a look and see where we're at after that. We've got three for fortifications. We might want to get fairgrounds to be higher, so we'll go ahead and put that in. Yeah. Ideally, we'll just go ahead and sell a whole heap of food now. We'll go ahead and drop you as much gold as we can. Excellent. Okay, well, I think we're going to do... Actually, we can give you some more. That'll keep you going for a good long while. Brilliant. Okay, well, after that's all done, I think we'll have a look at uh, selling you some food. And we still do have a lot of food, so we should be able to get away with selling a fair amount of that. So we'll go ahead and just start uh, selling that off to you. And it looks like you will actually be able to afford it as well. Crude iron, you're not going to be able to eat that. We'll go ahead and just give you those as well all right i feel like that's a pretty good amount that should give you a little bit of a boost let's take a bit of a walk around here william we were in this chamber not too long ago and now oh boy william this is all yours you've earned a seat here my friend at least for a moment where you can take your time and just relax and recover because we did take a bit of damage in that last fight he looks a little bit sleepy so yeah we'll give him time to rebuild his forces and uh well i think more than likely we'll be setting out for another siege again okay our settlement foreign is under attack foreign i believe is one of our new settlements no foreign's over here by Mazadan. well that's nice and close with Nogan at our side, we should be able to ride out and take care of that. But I think I want to try and bolster Nogan's forces a little bit before we leave. All right, we've got seven mercenary guard we can pick up from here. So let's have a bit of a chat to Nogan and see what we can do for him. I'd love if we could still give him a helmet. <laughs> I think we'll just have to have him come back into our party for a little while. So yes, those new troops that we have joining us there, the mercenary guard. There we go, 10 mercenary guard. A lot of his troops are still injured. We want to see them recovered. Looks like it's a fair amount of recruits and all the rest. They will still get experience. They'll get leveled up. We're going to keep our ones close to our chest for the time being. Yeah, we're looking okay there, William. Well, there we have it. Prime Doors Party. We want to see if we can try to approach you from the side here. I think the raid is actually just ongoing. I think we'll just be able to just join in. Yup. Looks like it. 194. Okay. We're going to be helping foreign. Let's get this thing done. All right. It is going to be more than a little difficult for us to get into a position that works. But I think we should be able to. Let's see about pulling back to there. I feel like that might work. Cavalry, we'll get you back as well. Archers. That includes you. Go and get back. Why, why are others still going forwards? Oh, I do not like that. Okay. They're listening to me now. They're falling back. That's good. We'll use this little rise on the other side of town. Cavalry, Cavalry off towards the side. Forward. Thank you. We'll send you in before long. We'll want our archers up here on the hill. We want Infantry. you nice and loose. Stand apart. As for footmen. our footmen down here, Soldier. which you dismounted. Dismount. And we Infantry. want you to be in a shield wall. Make a shield wall. Because here come the enemy. Move. They're here already. Mounted archers, move! Okay. Our archers are already firing. Infantry! 
Oh, wow. There's really not that many of them down there. Infantry, I'm going to get you to go ahead and advance here. Advance! Cavalry, I'm going to send you charging in as well. All right. Oh, we still are set up for sieging. Hence why we have a crossbow. Well, let's see if we can help out here. Oh, didn't need to. Did not need to. Yeah, they're going to be able to make a pretty quick... <laughs> pretty quick work of them. They uh, really shouldn't have charged in towards us. I just don't feel like that was their best uh, choice that they've ever had. Looks like we've got a few archers back here. Let's uh, do a number to them if we can. Ow. Try not to get too hurt here. Some of them starting to run. There we go. Got some trained archers apparently. Oh boy, you were more than a little dangerous. Chase you down. Ah, trees. Bugger me's. Oh, prime door. Well, you were the one that we were looking for. Ah, come on, let's get them, huh? I think this is the last troop, or one of the last. There we go, berserker down. Who else have we got left here? That looks like that's the lot. The rest of them are fleeing. Let's we'll see if we can catch some of them with our cavalry. Just look at the direction that they're heading in. Chase down with them. Yep, nope, that's it. We did show them. Indeed we did. And the battle is won. Okay, we lost eight, which is a little bit more than I would have liked to have lost. Osea did get quite hurt in that. All right, well... That is a victory, and we did manage to capture him. Now, I'm tempted to just let him go, because they seem to be escaping quite easily. Or being released quite easily. So, yeah, I think for now, letting them go is going to be the best thing we can do. It increases our relation, and it also gives us some points and charm as well. Well, some good news. We actually did manage to get some troops back here. Although militia archers and militia spearmen aren't great, we're going to give them to Nogand. And these prisoners, we'll take them for ourselves. Well, while we are in the, the region, we're just going to ride around and start to collect some troops from Nogan. Because when we turn up to town, we'll see plus four recruits. He's going to be recruiting all of the recruits that are around here. So we'll just give them the chance to just, you know, bolster up those forces again. And we'll keep an eye on what's going on around us. Well, we tracked down some looters along the way, getting some experience in the process and a little bit of influence. Always very nice. Ah, good. Lena and Lacalian are available once again, so we're going to go ahead and pull them into our army. Lovely. Ah, Veron Castle has been taken. Nice. We're starting to get this area back under control, and it looks like there is a vote in process. Well, it looks like it's probably going to go to Aeron here. I am tempted to get some more relation with Crota, though. So we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, give him a little bit of a vote there. Just that we can get a little bit more experience. Experience? No. Relation. Yes. Plus seven. That's brilliant. And Aaron, congratulations. You finally got yourself another castle. Let's see. Yeah, he's got two now. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Having a look at the rest here. Yeah, no one else has above two of anything. And uh, Deathert obviously has quite a lot, but William... William's doing perfectly fine for himself on the Eastern Front. Well, I've been having a think about various different uh, strategic positions, and this castle's right up there. I feel like that's probably the next best bet for us to try and grab. Not, not for William, per se, but more for Vlandia. If they want to give it to William, then, I mean, all, all the power to them. But, uh... Yeah, I am certainly tempted to start a siege here. We're looking at some pretty good numbers, although, ooh, we do have someone down here. Let's see. Ah, damn. Foreign is under attack yet again. Well, I guess we'll be riding back for now to see if we can protect the thing before we try and uh, siege anything else down. I'm afraid it might have taken us too long to get there. We do have someone who is still raiding. Damn it! I really thought we got there in time, but unfortunately we didn't. And it looks like they're going to be able to get away as well bastard. Well, looks like we're going to be able to meet up with Liena, so that's uh, at least a little bit of something. Looks like they're trying to hit back again. Did they finish? They didn't finish raiding it. We scared them off. Well, look at that. 
Okay, well, it's going to give Liena and some of the others a chance to recruit some troops. Um, yeah, let's see. I think we will have to try and chase this sucker down. At least chase them away for now, so that they want to stay away. The other option for us is to look at sieging Omor, which is going to be a lot more of a task. I don't know if that's something that we can achieve so easily. Yeah. Well, I think for now we are just going to ride around, let the others try and recruit and keep on running back to foreign to try and see if we can stop this son of a bitch. And sure enough, oh, we're so close. Do we keep on losing relationship with the Finn here? Or is it, no, it's it's him because we're stopping, yeah, Finn or Vane, because we're stopping him from raiding the place. <laughs> well, shame on you. I guess we're just gonna have to keep this up for a little while because unfortunately, yeah, you must be Batanian originally because you are very fast in those woods my friend well we'll just kind of try and keep our eye on him for now it looks like he's just gonna go straight back chasing our party eh i see maybe trying to lure us in we've got finnegan here as well i think we're just gonna have to do some defending for like the uh next wee while yeah let's see well our numbers have certainly grown a fair amount and Dwayne of the Wastes has gained a level. That's fantastic. I'm going to have a look and see how many we're looking at here in Omor. Wow. 351. That's nothing. I was looking at getting some folks involved with this. But we might not even need that. We could push them back. Push them back across the river. Push them back into the Sturgeon lands. Foreign is under attack yet again by that bastard. But... I think this will get their attention, that's for sure. Well, I've decided a little bit of backup would be worthwhile. Lucan with a hundred would bolster our strength by a fair amount, so let's go ahead and bring them in for only 12 influence. Yeah, we're going to get this thing sieged. All right, with that, we're going to look at... Uh, I don't even know if we want to make the ram here, because if we can get all of these built in time, we'll be looking perfectly fine yet again. That'll be our plan. We'll see if we can go with it. We do have a little bit more attention this time, so whether or not we'll actually be able to get all of those siege engines up and running in time remains to be seen. Yeah, these forces are getting stronger. That is concerning. More than a little bit. It makes me wonder when they will try to attack. They're at 328. If they get more than that, I'm not going to be very, very happy. <laughs> We'll keep our eyes peeled. And so it would seem the battle is due to begin. And seeing as this is going to be probably a rather deadly battle, we should try to get as many people as we can. That includes prisoners before we start this dangerous fight. All right, we're going to have to be relatively quick here. Try and get ourselves into something of a position. Cavalry will meet you over here for the time being. We don't have much in the way of cavalry, but hey... We'll try and make the most of it. Let's see if we can infantry. get you into some kind of formation. We're going to dismount. Infantry. infantry want you in a shield wall. Archers, we want you to be in a nice loose formation. Also holding fire. Cavalry, we need you to start charging towards the enemy there. Let's see about getting you into a skein if we can. And we want you to do a counter charge if possible. Because we have horse archers on her horizon. It's a long infantry line that we have there. And it looks like the enemy is already starting to move in. Okay, that's not great. Let's see about trying to disrupt this if we can, William. Oh, yep, that's something. Okay, infantry, we want you in a proper line. Oh boy, they're facing towards the horse archers. That's how they get them every time. <laughs> All right, like that, please. Thank you very much. Soldier! As for our archers, we want you to be like that. Thank you. And we want you to be facing this direction. All right. You can start firing now. Cavalry, we want you back over here now. We're going to send you around against theirs. All right. This is going to be quite a clash. Infantry. Cavalry, I actually Horsemen. want you to follow me if you can. Stay close. There we go. That's some work. Oh, 
Nice. Okay. All right. We're going to ride down along here. Trying to damage who we can as we ride through. And we're just going to keep doing that with our... Oh, dear. Should have had my eyes out on you. Our horse is going to be a little bit injured now. More than a little bit, I think. Stabbing down as we ride across that line. All right. Time for us to get into the thick of it. Actually, you know what? I think we just broke the infantry line. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, well, cavalry charging now, thank you. Our archers are doing good back that way. Let's just try to help out here if we can. Head back towards our line. Use them to our advantage. And infantry, let's advance against them. All right. <laughs> oh, the good old advance. Working as we wanted to. Don't advance towards the horse archers, please. Cavalry. Oh boy, there's so many. So many. So many horse archers. We've got to hope that our own archers are doing something to them. It looks like we might be. We sent them quite far back. Uh, let's get our spear out here. Deal with some of these riders if we can. Let's just hope that they come back towards our front line. Alright, the other one's dead, that's good. More riders. Let's get a stab in, William. Looks like they're going to keep on throwing their cavalry at our shield wall. They can do that if they wish. If we can't hit the rider, we take down the horse. How are our archers doing up there? They're getting a little harassed. Okay, we still got some cavalry. Nice. And I don't suppose that horse is good. Nope. <laughs> There might be one around here, though. Oh, yep. Titanium Pony. Fantastic. Right, we're back in the running, William. And with that, we will run through. Try and see if we can... Mm, I was going to say hit some of the ones in the back there, but that won't help us. So far, they are having trouble with our shield wall. I mean, getting behind us is causing us some grief. See if we can help out with some of these numbers. Noble Sun. Oh, damn. It was a good hit. Lots of swings against William there. Okay. Just need more like that, my boy. Come on. Too early. Oh. That's another horse down. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The archers are still definitely doing a number here. Good work, good work. Just stay facing that way for now, infantry. You're doing good. They seem to be about turning. When it's working out for us. Oh, definitely tense. Archers, just hold fire for now. Infantry, stay where you are. Their cavalry numbers are getting decimated slowly but surely. That is working out for us. Infantry, Just keep this move. nice line here. Just pull back ever so slightly. Get our archers to conserve their ammunition until they want to push in against us. Right now, they're just using rocks and uh, what they have. Which ain't much. Okay. Is that, like, yeah, we've got one cavalryman horse left. Archer! One horse archer, so, you know what, why not? Archers, go ahead. Yep. You know how it goes. Fire down into that big old group. Lovely. And you, come straight for me. Or not. Chicken out then, huh? Yeah. That's working better for our archers. Oh, it should be. Come on, team. We're losing quite a few recruits here. Right, we might just have to advance. Mm, they're advancing the wrong way yet again. Okay, here we go. 
The line's turning. Okay, come on. There we go. Wrap around them. Wrap around them. That's what we want. Good, 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 good. Okay, we need to get involved in this fight now, William. It's all or nothing. Okay. That's a strange position that we're fighting in, but we'll go with what we're given. Keep on swinging, William. Got two behind us. Quite a few green behind us. Jeez, I'm pushing up towards their archers now. I think we're just, just pulling ahead in this one. And it might be our archers that are pulling ahead, because our front line is looking mighty thin. There's still some of us here, but not enough, if you ask me. William's going to be all by his lonesome very, very soon. Yep, here we are. Archers, I would really like a hand. It's looking relatively balanced. Oh boy, I have no idea how that's going to go. The rest of them are just charging in. What archers we have left. It's down to the wire here. This has been an absolutely bloody brawl. But those that still have ammunition are firing, and those that are out are charging down what's left of the Sturgeons here. Not Sturgeons, the Khajans. But we do have quite a few Sturgeon forces in amongst them. Just keep wrapping round. It's a blob versus a blob. I don't think that they have anyone left as well commanding them. Because that's when we just get down into these bloody melees. Lacallion's getting tactics. Lacallion's still up. Well, thank you, my friend. I think you might have made the difference here. Dwayne getting some kills there still. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. Chase them off the field. Another tactic point for Lacallion. Well, we certainly were outnumbered. But that hill, I think, made the difference for us there. With the last of those troops fleeing, let's go ahead and see just how bad things were. Well, all things considered, they could have been a lot worse for us. Yes, we lost 244. They lost 334. All up, a lot better for us. And we're going to go, I was going to say we'd advance time, but yeah, there's only one left on the field, so... We'll let them go. Plundered 8,000 gold and with 30 influence. Okay, we did get some prisoners there. Now, do I want to take you prisoner or not? That is the question. We could get a little bit more. You know what? I, I feel like we are going to keep letting them go now at this point. Um, just because it's going to... Uh, yeah, it doesn't make much sense for us to hold on to them. We can get some points. Well, sometimes you can get some charm. Doesn't seem like every time. There we go. Another there. And if they like us more, maybe they'll be less likely to want to attack us. Who knows? We'll try. Finnegan, it's going to take us a while to get you liking us. There are so many of them here, though. Yeah. Maybe it would have been worth us holding on to some of them. <laughs> Oh, William, you strange bald man, you. Ah, we're going to have to take stock after that fight and hope that we have enough to siege this place still. It's going to take them a while to bounce back, that's for sure. Yeah, after that, I can only hope that they're going to be able to recover some of their troops. We're definitely going to have to pull someone else into this because at this stage we are still just too weak there is a chance that some of the others might just try to attack us right now and if they do we will be feeling the effects of that we do still have lucand who is heading towards us we could look at trying to grab someone else for a little bit cheaper morcon is willing it's going to be two days we might be able to last that morcon we're going to go ahead and pull you into this fight fair two days Hang on. More con, more can. I see. Interesting. 
Very, very similar. Well, I suppose we could also have a look at just distance as well and see who is closest to us. We do have Alva. The sand is pretty close and isn't going to cost too much to bring in. For another 74. Yeah. Then again, Faya for 17, two days. We're just going to do that. Bolster up those numbers and... Yeah, we're going to keep this thing going. And... <laughs> they are already gathering around us. Not an army yet, but they are most certainly gathering. We do have two trebuchets so far. We might be able to take down the catapults, but ideally I'd like to have at least three before we start to try that. Well, Lucand is here and is trying to join up with us. Ah, thankfully he did actually manage to. So our numbers here are looking a bit better now. We have even more recovery to do here, so they should look better given the time that we have. Well, now we have enough trebuchets, I think, to get this thing started. So the catapults will be able to do a little bit of a number on us, but our trebuchets will hold up a lot longer than those catapults can. So hopefully we should be able to, yeah, outbuild them here. That's the idea. We've just cracked one of their catapults. And we already have another trebuchet of ours on its way. Well, <laughs> the numbers outside continue to grow, which is rather disturbing. And our settlement, Epicrotea, is being besieged. That is not good. I don't see the siege icon there. Are you really being besieged? Maybe we have to be closer to know for sure. The question is now, do we continue this fight here or do we turn? It's not going to take us too much longer before the walls are downed here, but I would be, yeah, rather concerned about Epicrotea. Well, one of the last of our allies has managed to arrive. If we can just crack one of these walls, I'll be happy. I have to hope that Epicrotea can hold on for just a little while longer. And, well, that the rest don't try and attack us before we break our way in. Alright, both of the walls have been cracked. It's now or never. We're going to get as many prisoners as we can. We're going to see what this other level up is. And we're going to get this fight fought. Ah, it's William who actually got engineering. Well... It's not going to help us so much, <laughs> but we'll take it, William, sure. All right, William, you know how it goes. And, well, this actually looks like it's going to be quite a different kind of siege for us. I'm trying to see where the openings are. We've got one here and one here. And they're kind of at different tiers, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I like it. This is going to be a relatively different siege for us. I am going to want to make sure that... Uh, oh, we don't have a ram here. Good. Okay. I'm happy about that. If they do want to stay and have a few on the trebuchets, I'm okay with that. I'm probably going to look at uh, taking maybe one or two of them away. So we might just have the ones on the outer edge. Purely just because I would rather have troops actually on the ground. So we're going to look at getting this assault underway we're going to cross our fingers we're going to hold our breath William and we're going to look at moving in with the rest of our troops here we do have our lance so we can open up with a relatively strong attack and look at that they actually are using the trebuchet okay so we are moving on up towards those walls oh there's so many archers up there that's a little frightening <laughs> okay well we're going to push in through the breach with our first uh a lot of men here. Let's see what we can do, William. Push on up and over. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Instantly, we've got a whole heap of militia just right here. Okay. Let's go jump off this bad boy. And we'll look at taking them out. Move on up towards them, William. Yep, you draw those blades. Okay, watch for those off strikes. Okay, looks like we had a whole heap pushing back here. 
I want to try and get up onto this wall. All those archers need to go. We will attack them from behind if we need to. Or from the front, you know, whichever. That's forcing the archers down, which I guess that's a good thing, right? <laughs> Force their hand. Okay. Swing away, William, swing away. We've got a whole heap of them moving on up and out. I think we're pushing further into the city. And how that's working for us. Sturgeon Archer down. Oh yeah, okay. We're flooding through at this stage. Help out. Ah, wasn't needed. Okay, keep going, William, keep going. There's a small amount of troops back here, it would seem. And what was a barricade that's been pushed through. It's a very different kind of city siege map for us, actually. I think this is because of the different uh, tiers to it, the different levels. See if we can't go around here. Seems to be where the majority of the fighting is taking place now. Oh, yep, yep. Let's help out here, will we? And I think we'll go two-handed if we can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I think they might be the only ones that are left. Potentially. I don't know if we can see. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll push through. They are fleeing. Arrows on our back, William. With the walls down, those militia folk do not stand a chance. Yeah. Even though we have a fair few volunteers and recruits in this army, we've actually got a lot of high tier units as well. And getting them up close and personal seems to make a massive difference. I will take that victory. And, well, William's party itself only lost 10. 56 all up, 190. So the defenders still did a pretty good job. Yeah. William, I don't think we got that many kills there. Five. Yeah. Let's see. Hosea 4, Cheryl 4. Not bad. 107 gold. We don't seem to get that much from cities, surprisingly enough. And with that, I think we might have a bit of a hard time ahead of us. Omor has fallen, which is great and all, but we are currently surrounded. And Epicrotea doesn't seem to be under siege. Maybe they started the siege and stopped it. We might have to get closer to know for certain. But right now, we just need to try and get inside the city. Okay, no, we're here. We actually start off inside it. Okay. That hasn't happened before, right? Maybe it's castles you don't start off inside, but cities you do. Well, that's a really good thing, because we need to try and hold this place if we can. First thing we're going to do is have a look at just dropping off some prisoners, actually. So I've pretty much gone through and just got rid of all of our super high tier units that we're not going to be able to do anything with. 463 influence. William, my boy. God damn. That's not bad, my friend. That is not bad. Let's look at doing some trading. So they've got about 19,000 here. We have a lot of loot to sell off. And we, we pretty much have 19,000s worth of loot to sell off. My gosh, I wouldn't mind trying to pick up some war horses from here. So we'll see if we can just kind of like settle our debt. You know what? I'm fine with this. We'll just take it. Sure, it's yours. And so with that being the case, we are just going to wait here and see what ends up happening. It looks like most of them are splitting off from here. They are raiding the settlements around here, which is not great. Although I guess... Yeah, I'm just trying to see how the icons work on this. We might have to stop waiting for a second and leave, just so we can go across. Yeah, Epicrotea... Ah. No, there is definitely siege stuff there. Okay, well, I guess that, <laughs> that decides it. We're gonna have to make it back there. It's gonna be a hell of a ride. And while I hate to leave this pretty much undefended... Yeah, we're gonna have to try and ride back for it. William, let's get moving. Foreign is under attack at the moment. I'm not surprised there are so many of the lords around here. Oh my gosh. 1,000. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't know if the siege has already started. It hasn't. 
so we can still try to break in here. That is... That's a lot. Even for a city defense, that's a... That's a lot. <laughs> can I pull enough troops together with the large amount of influence that we have? Maybe. Just maybe. I hate it, but we might have to face some of these troops off here in the field. Okay, first of all, we need to have a look at distance. We need folks that are close by. Alvar, you're close by. Lashenek, one day, two hours. Okay, we're pretty much going to have to go for everyone here. Death Hurt, you've got quite a lot of men. It'd be good to have you if we could, but... You're off leading your own army right now. I think we're just going to have to grab those three. And hope that they can get here in time. We're going to wait close by to give our friends a chance to actually move towards us. And more than likely... Yeah, here's Alvar right now. Okay, that's something. We've got 309 here going to a point. Not sure what that point is. And, uh, yeah, in terms of the defense, I would really like if we had a... <laughs> A ballista here, of some kind, of any kind, but I don't know if we're going to get that. They've got a few ballistas of their own. We could just try and wait this out. There's a chance an army could turn up, and guess what? A vote needs to happen. Well, we're going to put ourselves forward for it. See, just we... <laughs> we did all we could to get it, and we might have sacrificed Emperor Tia in the process. Let's see where the cards fall. Okay, well, not much of a chance of it going to William, and I'm actually okay with that in this instance. Crotor, I think you're going to stand a better chance at defending it. We're going to go ahead and actually help you with that. Budur, you've put a lot of influence into her. I feel sorry for you, but Crotor has too. And to Crotor, it goes. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. So I'm just going to have to keep checking in with the armies to see whether or not we can pull anyone else in. Let's see. Anyone nearby that we can actually bring on board. Hey, look at that. Our good old friend, Aaron. You know what? I mean, a day in 15 hours. Oh, and Galtha, you're free now. I'd love it if you can make it along, my friend. I'd be very, very happy. Oh, boy. Yep. The siege is holding for now. We just gotta hope it's gonna be a little bit longer. Mazadan is under attack. Now that's Mazadan the settlement. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about the villages at the moment. We just have to have our focus here for now. Oh boy, we've got even more coming our way. Although their numbers there are dwindling somewhat, so I guess that's okay. Let's just stay here, just so that we keep on blocking them off from actually joining up with the army. Although they have 400 now, and they will have more soon. If they attack us, well, it won't be great for us, will it? Let's see. Oh, the fight's already happening, I think. Epicrotia Siege. Yeah, it's already happening. I don't know if we can help with that. Break in to help the defenders. The fight is happening, right? Yep. 188 there. Well, this will certainly increase our chance of succeeding. It's going to be a bloody hell of a fight, though. And I think this will wrap us up. Let's go ahead and pull everyone else we can into our party. Okay, we could lose as many as 112 in this process. <sighs> hey, this is still a ballista. Those are some tough odds. We're going to have to do it. All right. All up, that's not that bad. Spread across our entire army, 96. It could have been a lot worse. So, help Epicrotea. Okay, William. We've done this once before. We can do it again. 980 need to fall. Let's make it happen. Okay, well, here we are, and this is what we have got to work with. We've actually got more to work with, though. No, those are fire bombs. I haven't had a chance to actually use them, but I've seen them used before. And, uh, yeah, 
I wouldn't mind actually trying to get our hands on those with William. We do have a breach to deal with though, which isn't as fun. I think that's probably as close as we can actually get to that breach. Let's see. Can we move you up a little bit further? Nope, that's going to be it. So, <laughs> stick there then. As for our group here, we want you to be in a shield wall as well. And ideally, we want to have you as close to this gate as possible. I want to see if we can maybe just draw you out like that. Yeah. Whether or not they'll stay like that, I guess we'll see. I'm going to have you on our command and see if that'll work. So we do have a few catapults as well. We've got a ballista here. Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to try and use these. We might even be able to destroy that. Get a few shots off of the ballista to start with. Okay, so William. We need to make a bit of a run for this. Okay. Let us begin the assaults. Oh, and our troops are already moving back. Great. Great, great, great. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll be sure to tell them to push up against it yet again. There we go. And William, let's go get ourselves into something of a position. You can already hear attacks coming from outside. Wonderful. Come on. Well, first kill wasn't us, unfortunately. But I suppose it could be worse. Um, I think we might just have to jump across here. There we go. Please tell me we can jump up. We can. Okay, so. Let's try and use this thing to start to, uh... Well, it's not a lot of damage. Oh, boy, they do have a catapult. Okay. Well, we could just juicy up some of the other troops. Can we make it to you? We can't. What about you? Okay. Nope, that's a miss. Right. I think the catapult's actually hitting our front gate at the moment. That's the last shot we can do with that. Alright, well, let's see. How far can we throw these things? Can I pick them up at all? Oh no, we can. Yep. Alright, so. How far can I throw you? Ouch. Let's not drop this bloody thing. Alright, we're going to try and throw. Let's see. William. Okay, right. We still need to wait for it to get a bit closer. Okay. Ooh, a bit of a dangerous position that we're in, though. Alright. Aim. Fire. Here we go. Still too low. Okay. We should be able to get it now. Come on, William. Pick this thing up. There we go. And toss. Okay. That's another miss, apparently. Here we go. 400 damage. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Alternatively, we could just try and throw it at the guys. That's probably going to be a better use, if I'm being honest. Because I don't know how much health the other stuff has. Good, that's two. Let's try and see if we can get a bit of a square a shot. Come on, William. Pick the friggin' thing up, my dude. Okay, here we go. Okay, three. That's not bad. Let's shoot a little bit further. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yup. I like firebombs. Oh my god. Okay. Yup. That works. Okay. Well, I feel like that completely decimated their uh, frontal assault. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's really not that many people there. So, where's the next bit of trouble? Probably over here. We've got a firebomb to spare. Can we jump with this thing? Nope. You cannot jump with a firebomb in your hands. Oh, we can catch it again, though. Can we pick you up? Probably not. Okay. We might have uh, boned ourselves here. We're going to have to get back up on top. That's a bloody good start for William, though. Let's try and see if we can grab another one of these things and put it to use. Yeah, that's a lot of dead folks out of there. Okay, well, we're going to take this thing along for a ride. Let's see if we can find someone to chuck it down on top of. We've either got the breach over there, which is a little potentially deadly, or the tower. I wish we could throw it down at the people here, but we can't see them. There can't be that many, really. Okay, let's push around. We're still seeing a lot of green kills for us. 
Don't get shot. Don't get shot. You do not want to drop this thing. Okay. Let's see how it's looking here. Oh, yes, that's juicy. That is very juicy. Here we go, William. Here we go. Boom. Yup. That's what we like to see. Like six freaking kills from that, William. I think we're going to have to head back up. That's the only place they are. But honestly, even though it's a bit of a run, I don't think we're going to get more kills than doing that. Whoever was the chemist that whipped this up, we are very grateful. Okay. There's quite a few down there by the sounds of things. It's kind of looking good for us. We are much more in favor on that balance bar. But they have a lot more reinforcements on their way still. Yup. Come on, William. Just carry this thing. More folks coming in for us as well. Let's just keep it in our favor. Okay. Yep, we still got a lot there. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yep. That's more than a little deadly. Let's go back. You know how this goes. We've got quite a few down here. I'll just try and go for a quick kill. Yep, that works, William. We can help out here as well by the looks of things. Ah, let's go. All right. Yep, we still got quite a few here. Let's do it. Here we go. That was very good. Bloody hell, William. That's absolutely devastating. Oh, we've got even more of a push coming for the front. Looks like we might be able to use one here as well. Let's be fast. All right, we have yet another. And we've got some folks down there. It's going to be a tricky throw. Well, we got some. Come on. Off of that, will you? Come on, get out the way. You're really making this difficult for me. Okay, more down there. There we go, William. Not bad. Only two. Okay. Oh, we've got a whole heap pushing that way now. This balance bar is so close. Here we go, William. It's now or never... Oh my god, no! Okay, we're going to have to be fast. And we have to be much, much faster next time. Oh, we're lucky to be alive. All right, we've got the goods. Let's move, William. Let's move. All right, here we go. William, let's do it. There we go. Oh, my gosh. It was worth it. It was well worth it. All right, time for another. Let's make it back there. In one piece, my lad. William's slowing down now. He is tired and he is bleeding. But we are coming out on top. The balance bar is reflecting our advantage, and we will continue to press it. William, go. Okay, I will take that. I will definitely take that. Well, there is a limited number of them, but I think we've used more than enough. This one might be the last bit we need to break them. Here we go, William. Get ready to strike again. Oh, their numbers are looking bad down there. Let's see. Oh, that will finish them. Yep, they're broken. They're running. They are out of here. We did it, William. We bloody did it. That last one's <laughs> broken them. Well done, my lad. Well done. Quite the victory. Oh, boy. And as the last of them run off... We hear the cheers from Epicrotea's walls. We most certainly showed them. <laughs> Fire, one out in the end. <laughs> we see that some of our guys are still chasing after them. Oh boy. So, let's see. That went a lot worse for them 
a lot worse for them. 421 of them killed. 421 of them knocked unconscious. We've got a lot unconscious as well, but William, how many how many did you kill here? 72. 72. Not bad. It's not actually the most that William has killed before in a siege, I think. But I think it helped make the difference. We're going to have a lot of upgrades to deal with here. We have a lot of death to deal with as well. But we have held on to Epicrotea. And maybe, as soon as we're here, it will be worth holding on to some of these <laughs> lords this time around. We plundered 10,000 gold from that. Gained 18 influence. It might be even more by the time the battle is done, but even if that's all we got, I'm still happy with that. And I think we are going to actually start taking prisoners now because this war has to end soon. So, yeah, you're my prisoner. As are you. As are you. And you. A fair few prisoners, one might say. And 178 over here. Wow. Okay, sure, we'll take the lot. We will take the lot and fill our dungeon. All right, we are gonna very quickly go to the keep and to the dungeon, and we're gonna drop those lords off. All right, <laughs> no getting away this time. All of you are going to stay in here now. Yeah, that's a lot of them. And well, we do still have a lot of other troops here. So 236, it's quite a lot. So we're gonna see if we can get that number down a little bit. Well, after that, we do have a little bit of trading to do. And luckily we seem to be doing pretty well here in terms of coin, but just the armor that we had uh, just gathered from those last few fights alone is another 20,000. So we're doing pretty well for coin at the moment, one might say. And it would seem that during the fight, William got a point in athletics. Hmm. Increase your party's... See, now we have gone for that before, I'm pretty sure. Rather, no, we probably picked that for someone else. Increase your persuasion chance. Increase your party size by five. Now, I don't know if that will actually work or not. I think we're going to pick it because eventually it will work. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to go with for now. I mean, it might have worked actually, because we were on 171 before, so increased by five, having going. Yeah, plus five, it is actually working. Look at that, huh? And it looks like there are a few other upgrades that I've just been kind of saving for now, but yeah, we survived an incredible fight. And well, now we have to rest, we have to recover. But we have quite the army that will be able to rebuild given enough time and enough visiting of settlements and all the rest. Epicrotea stands, and long may it continue to. We have some of our friends here, actually up the top, and Vienna just hanging out over here. Let's go check on the others. Yes, it would seem the others are more than happy to just hang out in uh, William's bedroom of all places, and it's quite the bedroom. Impressive stuff, my friend. Yeah, here's everyone else. Just taking the load off, huh? Logan, you're looking like you're ready for battle, my friend. Yeah, William, soak it all in. You've earned it. What a day, what a day. And I'm sure these wars are not finished yet, William. We still have more fighting ahead of us. Please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.